My name is Christine Boyle. I'm a second term Vancouver City Councillor with a party called One City Vancouver. Uh, I've lived in Vancouver for most of my life and I've been an avid cyclist for most of my life too. I currently have two kids uh, and we, we bike many places. Um, we have a family cargo bike that I can put the younger one on the back of to get all over town uh, and a trusty acoustic myself to get places on my own. Vancouver is a good city for cycling and we could be a great city for cycling and it's a big priority that we, for me that we make it safer and easier for people to get around without a car. huge uh, climate reasons for getting more people out of gas vehicles uh, and into public transportation, being able to walk places um, and making it safer and easier to cycle to the places you need to go. I also think there are important health and quality of life improvements to, uh, to be able to self-propel yourself to get places. It's not just about greenhouse gas emission reductions, it's about connecting with your community and those around you in ways that are um, significantly harder to do when you're uh, bottled up in a car. Um, to get places faster, to uh, be able to greet one another, um, and it's a lot safer. Uh, every year there are uh, vehicle accidents and so getting more people out of cars uh, and walking or busing or biking um, makes our streets and sidewalks safer for seniors and children uh, and all of us. So huge health and safety and well-being and climate benefits to cycling. My name's Lucy Maloney and I'm the chair of the pack here at Roberts Elementary and uh, I'm also a cycling uh, advocate I guess you could say and uh, I am the coordinator of the school street program at Roberts Elementary. And the school street program is a it's a joint venture of the City of Vancouver and the Vancouver School Board. Our school street's been running for about two years and it's just improved things around the school so much. It's not a big sacrifice on the part of drivers, you know, we just uh, close one block of one street around the school uh, at pick up and drop off times to drivers and we open it up to people and to people on e-scooters and e-cargo bikes and skateboards. The reaction to our school street is overwhelmingly positive. People love it. They love uh, not having to dodge cars and listen to drivers tooting their horns at each other and worry about drivers reversing through the crosswalk to try and uh, let other drivers through. It, it, it's been a real nightmare traffic around the school for a long time. And unfortunately, the more street space you allocate to drivers, the more drivers you attract. Uh, one, one side of the school street program is making, the, making active transport more convenient and uh, accessible and pleasant for the people that can use active transport to get to school. The City of Vancouver has taken steps to make sure that people who really need to drive can drive. You know, there are more accessible parking spaces around the school than there were before the School Street program started. Um, and drivers have every street apart from this one block. So uh, the other thing that it's has helped drivers is that especially drivers of older children uh, they are dropping their kids off a couple of blocks from school and letting them walk because they know there are eyes on the street they know it's safe for them to walk we get a lot of parents dropping their kids at the end of um, the school street and either uh, if they've walked their kids to school, just saying goodbye at the end of the street and watching them walk down a little bit and letting them go, or if they've driven, dropping them off, um, not on the school street, uh, at the ends and, and watching them walk. So it's encouraging active transport. 
It's uh, encouraging kids to be more active as they get to school and that puts them in a better condition for being ready to sit down and learn. The jewel in the crown of the Vancouver um, Cycling Infrastructure Network. <laughs> Richard Street, woo! I love it. I got into uh, cycling advocacy just through the issues that affected me, like the terrible traffic issues around our school, trying to get my kids to and from school. I'm a really committed environmentalist and very concerned about climate change and I just feel like these little discrete um, projects that I'm involved in advocating for safe routes to school, um, cycling infrastructure in parks, uh, urban cycling infrastructure to encourage active transport, that's just like some, something bite-sized and achievable where I can actually make a difference. Around 40% of carbon emissions in Vancouver come from burning gas in transportation and so uh, getting people out of cars and creating options to get around more easily is a significant part of our climate emergency action plan. One of the goals is to have 90% of residents within an easy walk or roll of the daily places they need to access. Um, which which builds healthier communities um, and healthier residents uh, and it means improving our transportation system so that it's safer and easier to walk and cycle places. It also means looking at land use so that we're building uh, more multifamily mixed income housing in every part of the city so that uh, so that residents can live in a complete neighborhood that's close to schools and um, uh, places to get your groceries and places to grab a coffee and connect with neighbors and friends. All of that uh, has huge benefits in so many ways for residents and uh, is an absolutely necessary part of reducing our climate emergence, uh, reducing our climate emissions in line with the climate emergency. There are, there are a lot of things that I'm collaborating on with other people all around. You know, I'm not just the Stanley Park lady. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, we're looking at them from a prioritisation point of view and what's possible and what's affordable. I mean, I'd like to see us really commit in Vancouver the way Montreal is. I think that we're not doing anywhere near as much as we could be to... Uh, to move the active transport network along and make it really comprehensive. But uh, we're chipping away at it and uh, hopefully it'll happen all happen sooner rather than later. What we want is a system in Vancouver where where anybody and everybody feels that they could bike safely to the place they need to go, uh, you know, including with electric bikes and incumbent and accessible bikes and safe infrastructure for children and families to get around. The goal is that anybody can use this as an option and the infrastructure needs to match that and then those of us who are cyclists can keep being welcoming to everybody of all ages and abilities, uh, not just pro cyclists and longtime cyclists, but uh, anybody looking for a way to get outside, a faster way to get around, a way to connect with those around them. Cycling has lots of benefits uh, and I hope we can make it less intimidating and make it more safe so that um, more people get out there and, uh, and enjoy getting around in this beautiful city we live in.